Welcome back to 13 News Now at Noon. A local nonprofit organization is gearing up to host a 5K charity run this weekend, along with other initiatives they have planned for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Here to tell us more, we have Chris Schwab from Here for the Girls and Angel Kidd from Virginia Oncology Associates. And we thank you both for being here. Oh, thank you for having thank us. you for having us. We great, appreciate it. I was gonna say great to see you, Chris. <laughs> you uh, too. Let's talk about Here for the Girls. Of course, I'm very familiar, but for those that aren't, tell us about the organization and why it's so important that you focus on who you focus on. Thank you. We're asked that question quite a bit. So we serve a, a particular niche. Yeah. We support young women, 20s, 30s, and 40-year-olds 40, 40 that um, are with a breast cancer diagnosis. And the reason why we do that is because this is the most active stage of their life. Conversations are different. Needs are different. Uh, so, for instance, one of the major concerns for survivorship is, is infertility. Um, that topic looks a little different with a younger yeah. woman with, with breast cancer as it does for older. Absolutely. And I know one of the big initiatives that you all have is to partner with community organizations to get that message out to find as many women and people as you possibly can diagnosed under that age group to get them the help and the support that they need. So, you know, Angel, I want to ask why Virginia Oncology Associates said, hey, we need to support what Here for the Girls is doing in the community. Well, in the community, it's so important to have education and resources out there for patients. Um, some patients don't really know about cancer until they're actually diagnosed with the with cancer itself. And but why wait until that happens before educating yourself and knowing, you know, what what cancer is? So why not have prevention and screening? Um, have organizations like Here for the Girls available to reach out to the community and talk about the importance of prevention and screening even before they get to the oncologist because you know healthy patients don't go to the oncologist. Exactly. By that point, it's like you, you're trying to you know, gather as much information yes. as you can, but why not before and why not be able to help others? Yeah. So this event coming up, this 5K, is I'm sure a lot about awareness, but let's talk about the significance behind the 5K and why people should support. So the 5K obviously is a, is a run, but what we decided to do uh, last year is to add a screening prevention health expo. Mm. Um, and we're partnering with a number of all of our health systems. They'll all be there. Um, and they're gonna be coming to speak on things even beyond breast cancer. Um, we have someone coming to do flu shots. We have local nonprofits working. You know, Lackey Free Clinic is gonna be there offering th their services because we feel in our hearts, it is our responsibility to bring the community together um, and in talk about and prevent um, even more beyond breast cancer. Um, if we have the space, if we have the people, why not do it together? Absolutely. And give us the events of the 5K, the uh, details, I should say, of the 5K. It is Saturday, October 5th. Um, it starts about 8 o'clock. It is a one-mile fun run um, and a 5K. Uh, we also have a little bit of, of fun. We have an inflatable a breast that's coming that's kind of a little small little museum wow. um, to learn, learn more about breast cancer. Um, it's a great event. It is in Williamsburg in Newtown okay. um, and we're looking forward to it. Absolutely. And let's talk a little bit about, of course, with Virginia Oncology Associates, you've already kind of created that connection with Here for the Girls, but why should other businesses and organizations, Angel, decide, hey, you know, with Breast Cancer Awareness Month coming up, I need to find nonprofits and organizations that I can partner with, my business can partner with, because this is a community problem, you know, not just individual or family problems. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, navigating the healthcare system um, after someone gets diagnosed with cancer can really be overwhelming, yeah. and having um, a place where everybody is is working together there's a collaboration there it's important so that patients aren't running around trying to find the resources that they need you know if we're not duplicating resources and if we are really helping each other then one can refer to the other and and kind of build that trust within the community and and have patients they're already worried about so many things. Right. They, it's really easier for them to just go to one place and, and have that resource available to for them. Sure. Take that burden off of them for oh, sure. Yeah. All right, Chris, tell us how to register for the 5K. All right, just go onto our site, hereforthegirls.org. Um, there is a place to register. Um, join us. It's going to be a gorgeous day. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? That's a great segue to our forecast. Let's go to meteorologist Evan Stewart. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much.